Good morning, you guys. How's it going? I'm going to be doing a little shopping vlog with you today, um, but I'm just getting ready to leave my house and I thought I would film a quick intro. Excuse the mess behind me. I was doing a quick tidy up, but if I spend too long on this, I'm not gonna get anything else done today. So anyway, okay, so I'm really excited. So I'm gonna be taking you guys shopping with me today. And we're gonna be going to, sorry, my camera's all shaky. We're gonna be going to the drugstore to look at uh, makeup. So as you guys know, I am on a low buy right now. I'm allowing myself to buy just one new product each month. And okay, now I'm out of breath, hold on. <laughs> today is February the 20th and I have not purchased any new makeup or skincare this month yet. So I am going to allow myself to go look. I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy anything, but I wanna go see what's new at the drugstore because I feel like I haven't been, I mean, it's been a really long time since I've like shopped the drugstore for makeup. And I wanna just see what's new and see if there's anything out there that maybe I wanna do a review on or just catches my eye. So we're gonna go together and I'm hoping to see a lot of the new spring launches. I feel like it's end of February, those should be starting to hit the shelves now um, if they haven't already been out. I don't know, I feel like I'm really cut off from what's new right now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. I think we're gonna go to Fred Meyer and then uh, maybe Walgreens. I don't have a lot of drugstores here in this area and the ones that we have are kind of, what's the word? Not well organized, I guess, and they don't always have like the newest stuff. So hopefully we can find some new things out there and yeah, this should be fun. Before we go, I do have to make a quick stop. I have to do an exchange at Value Village. Um, we had our big 50% off sale day a couple days ago and I bought like three bags full of stuff. I bought so much and when I got it home and processed everything, I like to like look at it in the bright lights to make sure there's no flaws and I found a few things with flaws so I'm gonna take them back today. I've tried to be better about really checking for flaws before I remove the tags because they won't take an item back without the original tags on there. So I've been better about really checking them over when I get home in better lighting because in the lighting in the uh, in the store, it's really easy to miss stuff. So I've been better about doing that because I, I do sell things with flaws, but I prefer not to, especially if it's already an item that's like, you know, a bread and butter item where there's not a big margin of profit. If you get those home and have flaws, then you can really be losing money. So anyway, I'm gonna go return those and then we're gonna hit the drugstore and I'm excited to take you guys with me. Okay, so I just finished doing the exchange at Value Village and I am now grabbing some lunch real quick at Panera and then I'm gonna head over to, I think I'm actually gonna hit up Walgreens first cause it's closer to where I am right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that next, but I just wanted to tell you guys when I was at the thrift store, I was looking for accessories. So I was looking through like purses, belts, scarves, stuff like that. And um, I found a belt that <laughs> I saw the um, belt buckle and it had it said Gucci on it. And I was like, there's no way this is real. And then I was looking at it closely and I was like, oh, this is like really poor quality. It's not real. But I flipped it over and on, on the other side it was stamped um, and it said Burberry. So I thought that was a pretty, pretty funny fake that they couldn't even decide which designer name they were going to steal. So they put both on there. That was pretty funny. Anyways, obviously I did not buy that. But I did find some really cute belts and one handbag. So I'm going to go get some lunch now and then we'll get to shopping. All right. So it was actually a Rite Aid up the street. So that's where I ended up going. And I checked out the end caps first for new releases. I saw these LA Color little palettes. They were only $3.49. Those look like really nice quality for the price. Uh, but since I could only pick one thing, I did go ahead and skip over that. And then I saw this display from CoverGirl. This is their new active line. I did get a lot of these products in PR already, so I have um, the setting spray and mascara. I did not get this um, foundation, however. That looked interesting. Um, and they had a few other products here. They also had a new mascara. Um, this was called the Exhibitionist Mascara 1029 for that item. And then I found a bunch of new L'Oreal stuff. These are just in, in the infallible lip glosses. These are not new, but they had the really cute Valentine's Day packaging. And then these brow, what do they call them? The unbelievable brow. Um, $17.29, you guys. $17.29 for that brow item. That was crazy. Now, they were doing buy one, get one half off, but I still think that was really overpriced. I also saw their new foundation. This is the Infallible um, Longwear Foundation. That was $15.29. I feel like their prices are 
really high for drugstore. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And then they have these liquid lipsticks, $12.29 for those. I was just really sticker shocked by prices. Um, these mascaras, the packaging looks really interesting on those, $13.49. More of the brow products down here on the bottom as well. And then I found Wet n Wild. I was hoping to find their new limited edition collection, um, but everything I was seeing here was just like their standard line. They did have a pretty good variety here at the store. I, a lot of my local stores have a really small Wet n Wild section, so they had some good products, but nothing really new here. So I just kind of checked the whole thing over. And one of the employees was kind of watching me, so I was trying to be really discreet about filming because I didn't really ask for permission first, but she was kind of watching me closely, so it was a little awkward. Next, I found the Rimmel section. This was really empty, so I think that they're getting ready to switch this out possibly because there was just no product on the shelves. Um, and next to that was Physician, Physician's Formula, which they were doing buy one, get one at 75% off, which is a really good deal. The only thing is with these buy one, get one sales, I can only buy one thing. So I was kind of like, uh, what do I do? So anyway, I didn't end up getting anything here, so it didn't matter, but... They had a good selection there. Um, Almay actually has some really nice new products. I saw these lipsticks, which are so cute. I love the packaging on these. They're really fun. They were $8.29, which is a little pricey, um, but they had quite a few new products from Almay, and those were buy one, get one half off as well. I really like all their new packaging. Oh, and I saw these blushes. How cute are these? I thought those were so adorable. $12.59 though. Kind of expensive for a drugstore blush. And then I found this Maybelline end cap that had a few things. They had this matte bar palette. That was $12.29. And then I think there were some new shades here of their inks, lip inks. Okay, I just left Rite Aid. They had hardly any new stuff. They had a few like end caps with new stuff on it, but it was really picked over and nothing really that, that caught my eye. Um, the only thing that actually caught my attention is the fact that the, the drugstore prices are so much higher than I remember them being, especially L'Oreal. I feel like L'Oreal's prices, you might as well just be at Sephora. Some of that, like the foundation was like $18. I'm like, are you kidding me? Um, but they are doing a lot of sales in there right now. They're doing uh, buy one get one half off on L'Oreal and a few other brands and I think it was Alme or something was buy one get one 75% off. So I didn't end up buying anything here. I want to go to Fred Meyer's next and see if they have a better selection of new stuff. Um, the thing that I was most interested in trying actually is the new L'Oreal foundation. Um, it's the infallible which I've tried the infallible before I believe. Haven't I? I used to use a foundation from L'Oreal. Gosh, it's been years since I've used it. But anyway, I've been kind of wanting to try a new foundation, even though I have quite a few that I really love. I wanted to do a review on one for some reason. I feel like it's been a million years since I've reviewed one. So anyway, I'm going to head over to Fred Meyer's. It's just down the street and we'll see if we have better luck there. So Fred Meyer did have a much bigger selection of makeup. They did have the full line from NYX. They also carried Wet n Wild, but again, it was pretty much all the same products that we had seen over at Rite Aid. Nothing really new here. They actually had a really good selection of Essence makeup as well right over here. So that was kind of cool. I don't see Essence too often. And again, when I do, it's usually a smaller selection, but they had quite a bit in stock. And then I found some end caps with some new stuff. So this is from Revlon. It's their new Candid foundation. And then they also had the concealer there as well. $11.99 for the foundation, $8.99 for the concealer, but they were doing 20% off. And then these are new as well. They had some liquid highlighters and some liquid eyeshadows. Both of them look really cool. I didn't see prices. They didn't have prices on this little end cap, but uh, really cool packaging on both of those. Next, I found the Milani end cap, which looked really picked over. That whole bottom section was completely gone. And then there were some powder products here. I think these are new, the Make It Last setting powders. And then these Universal fan brushes looked so nice. I wanted to get that one so bad. There was also some um, Camilla, Camellia uh, facial oil drops. Those were $13.99. On this Maybelline end cap, they had some older products. None of this looked too new. Again, the repackaged face powder here, um, some of their mascaras up there. And then I saw these bronzers, the City bronzers. Oh, these look so pretty. They were only $7.99. Totally old Lisa would have bought one of those for sure. 
This Rimmel end cap was very colorful. They had some colored eyeliners and colored mascaras here. $6.99, great deal. There was also a new palette, it looked like, up there. Um, also, they had these Wet n Wild setting sprays in different scents. I don't think I've seen those before. And some of the uh, current new collection from Wet n Wild as well. Um, down here were some of the Wet n Wild shimmer eyeshadows and base eyeshadows as well that aren't shimmery. And then the new Almay um, liquid eyeshadows as well. And then on the bottom, they had a ton of these Almay uh, lipsticks that we already looked at, and these were $7.99 here. I came around the corner and saw the Milani Soft and Sultry palette, and I got so excited. I've been looking everywhere for that palette, and I uh, haven't been able to find it, and that was the last one, so I did grab it. And then I noticed this collection of brushes down here. I don't know if these are new, but they are new to me. They looked gorgeous. I wanted to grab every single one of them. Also, these bronzers are so beautiful. They were $9.99. I also found this little Physician's Formula end cap, and it looks like they have some new eyeshadow quads. Those were only $7.99. Those looked really beautiful as well. Then it was time to decide what to buy, and I came down to these two guys here. Okay, I finally made it back home. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was fun, but it was also kind of more challenging than I expected. Um, I haven't really been having any urges to buy new things, and I've been you know, like even window shopping on the Sephora app and still looking, scrolling through Instagram, looking at new releases. And I haven't had like this crazy urge to buy stuff. But when I went to Fred Meyer, you guys will see in the vlog portion, which I'm probably going to have to do a voiceover on, but there was so many new things that I really, really wanted. And uh, I kept thinking like, oh, I could do a review on that. Like I was looking at Milani had some really nice looking brushes and I don't know if they're new or if I've just never seen them, but I, um, they were new to me. So I was looking at those and I was like, oh, I could buy all of them and do a review on Milani brushes. And anyway, I uh, could have gotten very carried away had I not been on a low buy right now. So thank goodness for that low buy because I would have got myself into trouble. But I did buy one thing. Um, I had a hard time narrowing it down. There were two things that I really, really wanted. Um, there was the Milani eyeshadow palette that I've been looking everywhere for. I've been looking for that thing for like, I think a year. I think a year, you guys. Yeah, because it was not this last Christmas, but the Christmas before I had seen um, Jessica Braun do a review on those and I've been wanting it since then and I saw it, I think it was called the Bold and something, anyway. You guys would have seen it in the vlog. Um, I really wanted it, but I didn't buy it. I ended up going with the uh, Revlon Foundation. Um, it's downstairs, but I think it's called the Candid, I believe, anyway. I really did just wanted to do a review on a foundation and I actually used to use a lot of Revlon foundations. Um, they used to have their Photo Finish or Photo Perfect I think it was photo perfect, perfect. Photo finish, that's Smashbox. Photo perfection, I don't know, some photo something. Photo ready, I think that was it. Photo ready foundation from Revlon. That's what I used to use like exclusively before I started working at Sephora and then I got into more like high-end foundations but Drugstore has some great foundations so I'm, I'm hoping this one works out for me. I'll definitely be doing a review for you guys. I'm sure I'm like the last one on board to do a review, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this vlog with me today. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Let me know out of the footage that you saw, what would you have picked up today? Had you just been able to pick out one item? Let me know what you think you would have grabbed. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.